Hello Capricorns, I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is going to be for your reading for this week and hopefully to run into the end of the year, okay? But um, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and do so and like and subscribe. And um, that way you uh, do not have to go through all the calculations of 2,000 people on YouTube doing tarot. So go ahead and click it, like and subscribe while we're thinking about it. That'd be great. All right, thank you. All right, so let's go into our reading. Remember, the reading is just general reading. Take it as it resonates, please. The roles can be reversed in gen. Uh, the roles can be reversed, and genders are not specific. Okay, so let's see what's happening with Capricorn. Okay, thank you for supporting my channel and motivating me to continue. <laughs> so thank you, Capricorns, for that. So the first card you have was release and X Capricorn. Um, let go of any control issues with this. <coughs> Excuse me. Someone must be wanting to talk to me. Um, let go of your control issues and worth waiting for. So immediately what I'm getting from this uh, Capricorn is that you were in a relationship and you or your person, or it could be the car swatcher, um, had a relationship and someone was controlling everything being one sided relationship and everything kind of got complicated everything became surreal and nothing was working anymore and I'm you might still be work with this person you might be in a marriage or you might be in a long-term commitment but the universe is asking for you to release your ex and not mean your ex might be want to leave or it came to the end of the chapter but release the ex and to know that you're worth waiting for okay because somebody is out there looking for you so if that's your story so think about that so let's go into your tarot here angel guys and spirits please bless capricorn please show the cards they need to see show the cards they need to see Okay, and if you like this reading, please um, let your friends and family know um, on my channel. They can look up their zodiac as well. Okay, so thanks for supporting me. All right. Let me get one more. Um, you, I'm going to show you the cards. Okay. Okay. We have another one here. So this is the... Okay. All right. Your <clears throat> overall energy is the... Here you have the Four of Cups. All right. You have the Four of Cups. You have the high priestess in reverse. You have the hangman. And you have the king of swords here. And you also have, and this is on the next storyline, but the nine of coins here. Okay. All right. So looking into your relationship with your four cups is the overall energy. Um, and it's in the upright. And with this, it's in the verse yeah it looks like you're in a situation where someone's still thinking a lot they're, they're analyzing a lot they're overthinking it could be that you're thinking about becoming single getting out of this relationship you're thinking about letting this person go um for i don't know the reasons yet but it seems like someone here is letting go and, and have gave up hope and not feeling it in the relationship anymore um 
Now, the King of Swords here, energy with the ending of the King of Swords, someone still wants to talk about this. Someone wants to make this work. Someone has the clarity of what they need to do. and so, Or someone's been communicating about this relationship. But it looks like here with the Nine of Coins, someone wants to be independently. They feel like they could do better by themselves, okay, or on their own. But the King of Swords also shows a lot of mental clarity of what somebody wants. Connect into the Nine of Coins here. It's like they want to... Um, really let go of the situation they had their time with this relationship and they want it to be over that's what it feels like okay another king of cups Someone wants to get out of this relationship. And that, that's why the release your ex card came up. Um, and someone wants to let this go. They don't feel like it's worth their time. And you feel like you can be doing something better with your time and energy. But here you have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is still like a, can be a playboy, playgirl energy. Um, but wants to offer that cup of love. Someone does not want to move on. Someone's still stirring the motions here um, with that control issue going on. Don't want to let go. Don't want to be gone. Um, and here's somebody in the moon card in reverse. Someone saw through a lot of, um, it seems like a lot of dreaming. Has, the dream has came to an end or the veil had came off the eyes um, that you don't see this going anywhere anymore. You don't feel the same. You are seeing differently now about this person. Now, they could have had some secrets. They could have had some illusions going on. But you don't see this working out. Okay, Capricorn. Okay, so why is that? So let's go into the next setting and the next set of the story. One person's holding on and the other person's letting go. They just don't want to be in this relationship anymore. Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? Yeah. Someone is staying very strong against their decision here. Please. He gave me three. So what that's about. Oh, actually, the perfect. Yeah, someone here in this relationship is just really being very strong-willed about what they want, and you have this. Eight of Swords here in reverse. Someone's coming out of that entanglement. They feel bound. They feel tied down. They feel trapped in this relationship. Um, someone was hoping for a change and it didn't come because the transformation of the death card in reverse. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or Leo. And also the fighting. You're just tired of the fighting. You're tired of the um, conflicts and the tension and the stress and the maybe some, you know, mischievous things went on in the relationship. Some kind of secrets too. And here with the Eight of Swords, it's showing a lot of, it could have been, um, and like I said, the control issues. So someone's letting go of that 
they don't want to be controlled anymore they don't want to they want to have a voice in the relationship and this is a situation where they're walking around on eggshells with this person and they just don't see the change in this and they're tired of the conflict they don't and they they just want to do their life something that they feel very um I guess the word is like um over it feeling they're just over it but someone here because of that night is here someone's offering their cup of love they don't want to let this go and this could be your ex here who have been the playboy or playgirl and they don't want you to move on and this seems like this has been a common theme but, I mean I don't know why people do that they get in a relationship with someone and they go around being sneaky and doing maybe being rude and hateful towards another person or insulting and someone just got tired of it and they like I want out of this I can do this by myself I don't need this and they don't see any hope or any change going on in this relationship to make it better they see like it's getting worse okay so let me go into the near future what to expect okay for Capricorn what's the Capricorn yeah somebody's in that feeling of this is not gonna work out I'm thought about it I thought about thought about it but somebody wants out of a relationship here and they want to release that ex they don't want that person anymore and maybe it's cause of all just that connections not there that delusion that a lot of things went on and nobody's willing to change and they're tired of the conflict but somebody's like no I got to get out of this this is not what I signed up for okay in your future please okay in your future Just be sure in the future. Yeah. Okay. Right. yeah all right so there's the moving on card one person wants to stay one person wants to move on to something better something calmer calmer get something better in their life um the conflict they don't want any more conflict is confirmed here with the five of wands um two of swords is here this two of swords is making that you're at a um directional sense of you know which way you want to take and which way in a decision you need to make okay but I do see someone's letting go you're tired of stress you're just tired of the see you know being this maybe some type of deception um, like I said mischievous behavior sh you know controlling and dominating walking on eggshells um, you just don't want to deal with that no more here's a page of cups so this person that you're with Capricorn um, you could be dealing with a water sign as well along with a Scorpio card and some Pisces or Cancer another Scorpio but someone the universe is saying to let go of this release of sex because you're not happy you're not feeling this relationship anymore and you're just tired you're over all the conflict and BS that went on you're strained your your energy is low you just want to go move on in peace and be happy and that is what the decision I feel like you're you're making right now okay so this could be also for the cross watcher so um but there is a person here that's kind of standing who's trying to fight for this relationship um, but there's the page and the night uh, they don't have much to offer here okay I'm trying to look so yeah so 
you just want to get out of that battle mode. You you know, you're tired of feeling like you're fighting a war. And this has made you tired too. And you're want you just you're coming out of that sword's energy. You're just is in the reverse. So you're coming out of that sword's energy. You're just mm -mm, no, this is not what's not for me. And this is not what I signed up for when I got in this relationship. Or it could just be the end of the relationship as a whole. Okay. So, but there was some kind of deception, sneakiness, and maybe someone not short doing their part and being in effort to, um, to love you the right way and treat you with appreciation and value. And they didn't see your worth because here it's showing your worth here is not a, they're not a coin. Someone is, they have their worth and they're like, I don't, I don't want to be in this situation where I'm with somebody who don't appreciate me. I need to get out of this because I I know who I am I know what my value is and I need to get out of this relationship because it's not working for me I need someone who's gonna appreciate me and be there for me and care about me that's the feeling I'm getting and so that's kind of goes along with the worth waiting for card here okay so it's good that um, Capricorn you know your worth you know what you're about again this could be a cross watcher for the cross watcher um, take it as it resonates in how you feel if you're the cross watcher who's watching this um, Capricorn is not feeling happy anymore to be with you okay you're they're just not and like I said that it can flip you know resonate it but that's what I'm getting they're want to move on to something better something happier something calm and, and in peace okay they just want to do their own life and not be with somebody who's playing with their emotions and mental um, health and, make, you know, playing with their emotional stability, messing up that mindset, okay? So they don't, they just know their worth. They're not going to deal with this, okay, if you're a cross-watcher. All right, Capricorns, that's what I have for you. So hopefully, hopefully this resonates for you. Please go ahead and click the subscribe button. And thank you so much for supporting me and being there for me as well. Um... And leave me a comment if this resonated for you and what your feelings are. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, take care. Have a good night. And also, it's December 21st. And it's, if you're in the eastern, well, in the United States, if you're in the United States, and you're, it's night. So take a look outside. There's Jupiter and Saturn's alignment. With You can see Jupiter's four moons. So take get a good camera, get a telescope, and go check it out, okay? And manifest on that, because that's considered the Christian star uh, that comes only 800 years. So manifest on that star. All right, wishing you the best. God bless you. Bye.